Coming up next on Costa Mesa TV. Will this be the year we finally get the secret recipe? Who is running to help raise money for our local schools? What superheroes were recently seen in Costa Mesa? And how do you turn a city park into a movie theater? We'll answer all that and more right here, right now on the Community Report. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the latest edition of the Community Report. I'm Dane Bora. Getting things started, it's fish, family, and fun. So you know what that means, right? Of course you do. It's the 68th annual Lions Club Fish Fry and Carnival. They're all battered up, so let's dig into this great community fundraiser. Welcome to the 68th Annual Fish Fry and Carnival. The Costa Mesa Newport Harbor Lions Club is hosting their special event here at Fairview Park. There's rides, there's entertainment, and of course, their famous fried fish. Hey Mike, the man at the fish fry. So as you can see, we can expect heavy rainfall and cold weather for most of the weeks to come. So you might want to invest in a good umbrella, maybe something like this, some warm clothing, and perhaps a raincoat and rain boots. Just like the one I have on, but maybe a little bit more stylish. So while staying dry is important, we have to take possible flooding into consideration. Scott Carroll, the general manager at the Sanitary District, is doing their part to keep Costa Mesa safe. Scott, tell us more. We did a vulnerability assessment on El Nino. We identified two areas that were vulnerable. One of them was inflow, and the other one was power outages. Inflow is just basically rainwater coming into the system. It generally will come in um, through the manhole covers due to flooding streets. And what happens is it exceeds that capacity at the treatment facilities. And so it's gonna go backwards, it's gonna pop open the manhole covers. And so then you're gonna have wastewater entering it into the streets. Wastewater has a lot of pathogens. It obviously can contaminate our water sources. The public, if they come into contact with wastewater, they can become very sick. They can experience diarrhea, the sensory, hepatitis, cholera. Don't want a lot of gases and corrosion creating the system. So we're gonna be plugging half of those manhole covers. Hi, my name is Jessica Mejia. I'm one of the deputy city clerks for the city of Costa Mesa. I've worked for the city for a little over a year and I find my job challenging and rewarding. What I like most about my job is every day something's different. Every day it's not the same. There's always something challenging, something that we're not prepared for. Jessica's a pleasure to work with. She always has a positive attitude and she's a team worker, not even just with our department, but with other departments in the city also. My most common duties include getting the packets ready for the meetings, attending the city council meetings, doing the minutes, preparing the action report, and communications with various staff in City Hall. Jessica has been very instrumental in helping other departments for their meetings, like the Parks and Recreation Commission. And We have 233 miles, 232, 233 miles of street network in the city. Our department, uh, traffic, uh, can I restart? <laughs> Transportation Services Division handles many types of activities on a daily basis. We go through plan checks for different projects. We respond to resident complaints and we have projects like signal projects, we have roadway projects that we design. 
and also participate in the construction of those projects. Everyone has specific tasks that they're, uh, they're good at and of course my task is dealing with the signals. I make sure all the signals are working properly so I come in, turn on the monitors, computers in our traffic operations center and just look at traffic for a few minutes, make sure all the signals are running okay. We have two systems. One is the CCTV system, which are the cameras that are all around the city. And it's a great start to holiday season. It's a traditional, it's free, it's a great night out uh, for the family, and it, it brings the family closer knit. It's, it's all those things good about family. Wow, it's almost time to light our beautiful North Pole tree, and then it's off to Southern California I go. Celebrate in your favorite ugly festive sweater and enjoy complimentary hot chocolate and a candy cane from everyone at South Coast Plaza. Arrive early with friends and family for a spot November 19th at the South Coast Plaza Town Center Park. And guess what? This event is free. This holiday season, visit some of the most decked out homes in Costa Mesa. The Costa Mesa Middle and High Schools Foundation is ready to host their second annual Home for the Holidays Home Tour. Browse and get inspired as participating homeowners open the doors to showcase their best Christmas decor. Let's take a peek inside at some of the homes. Well, hello everybody, I'm Dean Bora and today I'm super excited to be taking part in the first annual Costa Mesa Home for the Holidays Home Tour. This is amazing, this modern stuff in here, the showers now we're at, right? It's phenomenal. You can touch everything, play with the buttons, which everybody loves to do. Now play with the buttons, what do you mean? Let me show you. So they have about 20 different shower heads that are operational. Okay. Oh, and then you yeah. can test the different flows. Um, right. As I mentioned before, they've actually allowed people to bring their bathing suits, test and the test shower heads. Because this is something that you're placing in your home, you're spending a right. lot of time and money. Might as well make sure you like it. On our way over here, we passed uh, a little section, not kind of quickly, but tell me a little bit about that area over there. So Perch wins best bathrooms. If you're to use their restroom, you'll get a state-of-the-art toilet. So it has heated seats, they have a remote control operated toilet seat, and all the bells and whistles that you didn't even know you needed. So just a little extra, um, you know, people have their loves, and I guess somebody around the world loves remote control toilets. George Castellanos, sophomore, strong tackle, come on everyone, just First and ten for the Mustangs inside Eagle territory. Low snap, hits the ground again. Center Sam Swanson running over to the sideline. Wants a new towel. Those towels get wet. And you keep drying your wet hands. So Sam working on his grip there. Shotgun again. Perfect snap this time. Swanson pass intended for Corette. DJ Davis right there defensively for Estancia. And just like that, it's third and long. Call it third and 15 for Costa Mesa. Hey everyone, 
I'm Dean Bora, and this is your Costa Mesa Minute for Tuesday, February 9th. It's Tuesday Bingo Night tonight over at the Senior Center. Presented by the Costa Mesa High School Boosters, come out for a fun night with friends and a chance to win at all of your favorite bingo games. Doors open at 5 p.m. and warm-ups begin at 6. And over at Estancia, the drama department is gearing up for their always popular presentation of the original show. Tickets are now available at the ASB office and will also be available at the door. I put it in my pocket bar to give it home to Jenny. She sighed and she swore that she never would deceive me. But the devil take that woman, for they never will be easy. Sure ain't the sure ain't the Back for the daddy oh, back for the daddy oh, there's a whiskey in the jar. I went to do the chambers for to take a slumber. Well, I dreamt of gold and jewels, and for sure twas no wonder. But Jenny stole the charges and she filled them up with water. Set for Captain Farrell to be ready for the slaughter. Miss Sherring, da ma do da ma da. Back for the daddy o, back for the daddy o. There's whiskey in the jar. Well, it was early in the morning. With all the unique homes, it's no wonder Costa Mesa has become the diverse city it is today. The next home is spacious and modern with antique pieces passed down from generation to generation. Here's the Rothman home. Welcome to the Rothman family home. This is a beautiful home on the tour. I think the most beautiful. Uh, it is a 2200 square foot home, approximately, four bedroom, two bath. The kitchen is recently renovated. The master bedroom is recently renovated. The homeowner's wife, Leslie, is an interior designer and she did the work in this home. As you can see, it just turned out beautifully. I think that the features that make this home so unique are the Dutch doors in the front. Experience restaurateur Andrew Dorsey had a vision for a new Costa Mesa restaurant with a fun and hip vibe where patrons were encouraged to strike up conversations and socialize with each other. So along with his partner, Chronic Tacos founder Dan Bilo, they started a new restaurant experience in the heart of the West Side and simply called it Social. But nothing is simple about social. The former London pub and West Side Cafe site sits at the end of an aged strip mall in downtown Costa Mesa on 19th Street. To attract their target audience of hip foodies, they invested upwards of $500,000 for a complete makeover. The exterior received a facelift, setting it apart from the rest of the center, making it feel safe and inviting to passers-by. They gutted and redesigned the interior. When patrons visit, it's obvious this is not your typical restaurant. The unique component of the culinary experience at Social is its open atmosphere. With high duct ceilings, cement floors, and rustic decor featuring two long repurposed communal wooden tables in the center dining area. 